Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and welcome to HopeForYourCancer.com. And today I want to share with you a topic called cell resonance. In our bodies, we all have uh, cells that have a vibration. You have an energy, I have an energy. There are times when you're standing in a room and you could tell if somebody's looking at you because you felt that energy somehow. Or before somebody even talks to you, you can get a sense that you will like them or you won't like them. There are times I know I'm sitting at a dinner party and I look over and I see somebody walk in and I say, I can tell that person is somebody that I just may really, I may not get along with. They have an energy about them. All of our cells have an energy. There's a doctor named Fritz Albert Popp. He's a biophysicist, a German PhD in biophysics, and he was able to prove in the 80s and 90s that all cells have these energies and they, they emit what's called a biophoton a small element of light that can be recorded that circulates through all the DNA. I'll show you a picture of that in a minute. That comes off of our body. You've heard of an aura. Well, there was a, there was a photography uh, that was created called Kirlian, excuse me, Kirlian photography. And I'll show you some photos of what that was able to describe. It shows that there is energy or light emitting from different parts of the body, different cells, plants, animals. There is a video which will be attached, a link will be attached to this website. You can also go to YouTube and look it up, a full documentary that I highly advise you watch if you're looking for a way out of, uh, of, of only using the medicines that they're prescribing for your, your cancer or your disease. There's a great documentary video called The Living Matrix. And in part of this, The Living Matrix uh, documentary, they have, a, they have an interview with Dr. Fritz Albert Pop. Um, so let me share with you what, what we're talking about here. This is a picture using Kirlian photography and it shows an apple and you could see the light coming off of the apple and it can actually pick up the electrical current coming off of that apple. And you could see in the picture on the left where there was a bite taken out of that apple. There, in our body we can have what's called interferences in the energy running through the system. As you see, the bite taken out of the apple, there's no more energy around there. Well, what happens when you have an incision? What happens if you had a head trauma? What can happen is the interference of the energy running to different systems. There is a doctor whose name is Dr. or was, excuse me, he passed away already. His name is Dr. Joseph Issels. And he was able to uh, have a lot of success with people with cancer, uh, reversing their cancer. He, he, show that when teeth, which you'll see in another video here on this website, that when teeth are diseased, they can actually cause disease in other parts of the body. It's not just localized to that one tooth. When you have a trauma, when there's an unhealed, when the scar has not healed properly, it can refer uh, uh, disease to different parts of the body, is what we're saying here. When you look at cell resonance, you could see on this person's finger, taken with this uh, camera, you could see the energy coming off the finger. There's actually positive and negative energies that can be uh, 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 discovered with our fingertips, with different organs in the body. We're able to use kinesiology and find out if a specific organ is diseased and why it's diseased and what we need to do to help it. You could see here, this is a picture of a snail. Look at that. So you could tell that there's energy coming off of there. This is a picture of DNA. And this is a picture of the biophotons, the smallest amount of light that has been discovered by Dr. Pop. You can see the light that's coming off of there. Hopefully that's pretty clear to you in this video, on this picture. And your DNA has to emit a certain amount of light. When cells become diseased, they are going to emit uh, less light energy than a healthy cell. Further in discussion is you have what's called a biomeridian. Whether you're too scientific or you're spiritual, you've got to understand your heart, we can track your heart's electrical current using an EKG. So that's Western science or worldwide science, we're able to track what the heart is doing with its electrical currents. That's real. Your heart has an energy that exudes from the body, literally. Your brain does too, organs do also. So understand that cell resonance exists. There are different cells that are supposed to have specific uh, uh, vibrations or frequencies to them. And we need to check all of your organs and make sure that they're working up to par to help your body heal. I look forward to helping you.